Hi everyone, it's Paddy here uh, for episode 100.5 of Paddy Does a One Bro, episode 100.5. This is a bonus episode, much like the last one, uh, where you got to see the entirety of the Artorias fight. Uh, this time we're doing it for Calamite. Uh, I thought I'd give you some behind the scenes, let you see the actual fight without all the fancy editing, um, and just tell you how it went. So this was probably attempt number ooh, 15, maybe, um, after I closed off. I would say I probably spent three to four hours on Calamite overall, uh, each run taking between three and ten minutes, uh, with the fire usually being the end of me. Uh, I did get into a, a thing. You'll probably see this on the the Paddy's Dogma video. Uh, quite a lot of the deaths at the start are me trying to emote at Calamy and tell him, well, what is it? Come at me, bro. Come get some. Or point at him and then getting roasted on the spot for my own hubris. Uh, but it made with some good intro stuff. Uh, I, I'm happy with it. Uh, so the actual construction of the video, what I do is I tend to just leave the camera running uh, when I know that I'm going to be like, right, time to knuckle down and do this and cut it later. So I'll tend to leave the microphone running for the kind of victory shouts and the victory yells, uh, of which there will be one. There will be one and I'll, I'll let you know when it's coming and I'll pass over to myself. Uh, I think I actually even did a sign off on this one, so once the scream comes I, I will stop talking and Pass Paddy will take over. Um, so I left it running uh, for about, oof, god each fight, this one takes about 8 minutes, all told. Uh, it's a long fight. Calamity's got a hell of a lot of health and doesn't give you a lot of openings. That's the one I hate. A little spinning back one. Uh, the, the fire was very much the death of me. That one, I avoided that most time, but that was the culprit on the, I believe, second of the runs on episode 100. The one in the middle, where I got him down to like 90% health and then just rolled the wrong way into some fire. Um, there, was an, there was some swears. Uh, I decided to cut them out because they were quite bad, uh, but there was a lot of swearing. Um, I mean, there's nothing worse than coming close and just losing it right at the end. Um, so now, it's, uh, once uh, I've beaten him, uh, which you'll see soon, uh, what I do is I take that into... Uh, I'm using Sony Vegas now, which is a really good video program, and it's just so much better than Premiere. It actually works on my computer, and I can render stuff and watch stuff in real time without it farting everywhere. Uh, so I'll take it in. Uh, I'd kind of thought of the idea for the music a while ago. Um, I've been listening to uh, a lot of that sort of music on my MP3 player. I've made a folder called Good Anime. And I know Dragon's Dogma isn't really anime, but the, the intro music, the original intro music of Into Free does fit uh, with my Good Anime folder. So I thought, that's going to be it. You know, it's a good dragon fight. You know, It fits it you know, sort of thematically. I'll, I'll take it. Um, some of the bits where it lines up with the song, like the drinking of the iodine, uh, and the flying, where the dragon flies past me, I just thought they were they kind of lined up. I thought, you know what? Let's let's go nuts. Let's let's put in some silly ones. I, I was quite proud of the drink your iodine bit. Um, but yeah, generally, I would say the cutting of the video, uh, I cut down probably a two to three hour chunk uh, of this down to the five minutes in the video, uh, cutting out all the deaths uh, and basically making the actual runs from five minutes long down to a minute and a bit. So that involves lots of cutting, lots of this running around. Any cool dive like that I tend to leave in. Um, I wouldn't hit... Oh, I wasn't going to put in every single bunny smash. There's no point. Only the ones that look cool. And sometimes when Calamity attacks, it's right up in your shit and you can't see. Like, I mean, there, that's a lot of smoke. Uh, it doesn't make for good watching. Uh, I, I tried to kind of pick out the ones that look good. Uh, there's a few bits I'm not too happy with with the video, but I'm, I'm generally quite happy with it. Um, I don't think it's as good as the My Hero one, the, the Artorias one, um, but I'm still proud of how it turned out. You know, I, I'm happy with the, the logo I put at the start. I found a picture of Calamy online uh, and sort of cut it and chopped it and turned it into the Dragon's Dogma logo, and it went really well. I'm, I, I like the logo; it came, came out really nice. Uh, what's, what's going on? How far have we gotten down to? We've gotten down to the end of his name. Look, it's 40% health left. That's not bad. See, that one was quite easy to avoid. And now I've done this, like, I kind of feel like I could do this fight again without too much worry, because I know his tells, I know what's coming, I know that I can counter anything he's got, and I know that I can do it as a level 1 character, so I kind of feel like whatever I bring in on a new run, 
I've kind of got the tools to deal with it. Uh, and my screensaver's just come on. There we go, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> remember, when recording post-commentary, to move your mouse around a little bit. Because otherwise your screensaver will come on and you'll forget what's on the screen. Um, I mean, you can see here, I'm not doing too badly on the old Estus front. I think I've got like 16 left at this point. Uh, and it, it does prove that once you get the hang of the boss's rhythm, and once you get the hang of mechanically dealing with the shit he's got, you don't tend to need to heal that much. I mean, if I was not on a one bro, if I had like a real health bar right now, which would be, you know, half again, double the size maybe, I'd probably even less, you know, I'd probably be using even less Estus. Uh, if I had better armor, I'd, I'd have needed less, but... I tend to find on these on these fights, the, the run that tends to be the one that kills it is the one where I've got like about a million Estus left. Because you've just, at that point, you've mastered it. You know what you're doing. And you've just, you've got the thing on lock. As, as stupid as that sounds coming out of my very, very white mouth. So there was, I did a few goes where I did try using uh, Pyromancy on Kanami as well. Which turns out, not that great. Um, damage wasn't terrible, but for the amount of effort it took to do it, it wasn't worth it. Just was not worth it. Uh, I have to get right up in his dick, sort of blast him there, and sometimes it wouldn't even hit him. Like combustion is not a great spell for range. You've got to be right up in their in their shit for it. Uh, so I think we're getting close now. There's only a few hits. So you'll see on the uh, the health bar, he's only got two or three hits left. Well, two hits left at this point. Uh, and this is where it started getting tense. This is the the hard bit. And down to a single hit. And now he starts playing KG. Oh. And I missed. Like a dumb dumb. And he stomped me. And I was getting angry. I, I was quietly there. And I'm actually going to pass over to past me now. Because uh, past me is about to come in. Uh, and finish the video off for me. So uh, over to you past me. Come on. Come on. Come on! Oh! How do you like me now? Oh. More like Black Dragon dead meat! Oh, fuck. Oh. I don't know if this is the bonus episode or the real episode, so I'm just gonna say fucking thank you everyone, I'll see you next time, Black Dragon Dead Meat.